Hey guys, I'm finally back from college and don't worry, I'm not dead, I think. So I thought it would make sense to make a video on the PlayStation Vita's bit arrival, the 3DS. I think it's pretty reasonable to assume that the 3DS is pretty much on its last couple months of life support until the Switch comes and pulls the plug. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm pretty excited for the Switch. Maybe not as excited as Jimmy Fallon. I'm geeking out right now! Switch. <laughs> but I'm not talking about that just yet. Today I'm going to go over the 3DS, starting with the hardware itself, some things I like about it, some of its flaws, and most importantly, the good games. So enough with this banter, let's get right on going. So for all you two people who don't know about the 3DS, the 3DS first came out in March of 2011 in the States, succeeding the original DS. I remember hearing about the 3DS when I had a DSi and being blown away by the improved graphics, circle pad, and mostly, at the time, the 3D. This was probably the case with everyone. Besides what I just mentioned though, there's not too much new going on with the hardware. As for the games, they came on pretty much the exact same chips, except now they're gray and they have these tiny little lumps over here, which does mean that the 3DS is backwards compatible with your old DS, which is always a plus. Throughout the course of the DS's lifetime, it sold 154 million consoles, making it the best-selling handheld of all time, and it's just 1 million sales behind the PS2, which is the best-selling console ever. That means that the 3DS had big shoes to fill, and whether it filled them or not, in my opinion, we'll get to later. As of this video, the 3DS has sold about 61 million units worldwide. Now that clearly crushes the poor underrated Vita, but it certainly doesn't stack up to its predecessor. Now I'm going to quickly go into what I think Nintendo has improved with the step up from the DS to the 3DS. Number 1. The addition of the circle pad. Now this is a love-hate thing for me, because the circle pad works nicely for the console and for games such as Mario Kart 7 and the new Pokemon games. However, I really wish it had a second circle pad on the right side as well for other games. I know the new 3DS has a second thumb stick thing, but I have gripes with that as well. Number 2. The Graphics Graphics don't really mean too much to me personally, but they sure do matter for a lot of other people, especially those PC gamers. However, the 3DS is definitely a much needed step up from its predecessor. Although nowhere near the level of the PS Vita, it gets the job done. Some of the most technically impressive games on the system for me are Kid Icarus Uprising, Bravely Default, Mario Kart 7, and the Fire Emblem games. Number 3. The eShop and Themes I tend to forget about this, but the 3DS is the first handheld by Nintendo that has the eShop, which is a great place to get retro games for your handheld, and a lot of indie games. It's a nice feature, although I find a lot of it to be kind of overpriced, but that's whatever. Also, some people like them and some people couldn't care less, but I love the themes for the home system menu. I think they add a cute little touch to personalizing your console, although Japan gets so many better themes than we do, but I should have expected that because Japan always gets the good stuff. Number 4, and most importantly, the games. It took a while to get the 3DS up and rolling with great games, but by now, there's a ton of great games to pick from. From the classic Nintendo IPs like Mario, Zelda, which has three major games on it by the way, Fire Emblem, Donkey Kong, Kirby, Pokemon, Animal Crossing, and even Smash Bros, you name it, to the massive library of third-party games. The console definitely has quite a bit of meat to it from the games alone, that's for sure. No complaints here. Well shit, the 3DS seems like an awesome step up from the DS in every way, right? I'm gonna go out and buy one right now! Hold on, this video's not over just yet. It's time to go over what didn't go over with me so well. Number 1, the 3D. The big selling point for the 3DS is given away in its own name. It's the fact that it can play most of its games in full stereoscopic 3D with no glasses required. Now back in 2011, this sounded like the future. I was so excited to see what it would look like, and I loved it at first. However, with time, I tended to just keep the 3D function off because not only did it save about an hour of battery life, but it kind of started to get boring after a while. Awesome at first, that's for sure, but overall it seemed kind of gimmicky to me. It's not that big of a deal though because you can just turn the 3D off. Number 2. The new 3DS. If you're a pretty hardcore gamer like me, you'll likely get the next console that Sony, Microsoft, or Nintendo pumps out because you want the best gaming experience. What if this new console is somewhat in purgatory, with better hardware, yet it's still essentially the same console? Well friends, this is what the new 3DS is. Man, Nintendo really has a hard time making a good name for a console. This couldn't have been a worse name choice because I'm sure grandmas in stores asked for a new 3DS for their grandchildren and instead got the standard 3DS instead. Bad names aside, <coughs> Wii U. the new 3DS was a re-release of the 3DS with a faster processor, an additional right thumb nub so we don't need that piece of crap Circle Pad Pro, two more shoulder buttons, 3D that actually worked if you moved your face at all, and a slightly, slightly larger screen. 
Oh, and the smaller one has swappable faceplates. I do like that feature though. And some games like Xenoblade Chronicles 3D can only be played on the new 3DS. That's kind of lame in my opinion. See, I don't have any issues with something like the XL variant, how it is for the DS and the 3DS, but the new 3DS is just kind of another thing that I have to fork over another $150 to get. I know you don't have to get it, but if you're like me, you have to get it. Since this system came out in early 2015, I don't think it was really necessary to be honest. However, it's only really just a minor gripe for me. Number 3, the 2DS. It's a joke. Moving on. Now with all that out of the way, I'm gonna make a quick compilation of some of my favorite games over the years. I'm also gonna throw in some hidden gems here and there because everyone loves those, myself included. The montage is gonna be in no particular order, I just believe that all these games are certainly worth checking out, so I'm sure I'm gonna miss a few games, but let's go. <coughs> Animal Crossing New Leaf. Pokemon Sun and Moon. The Legend of Zelda A Link Between Worlds. Bravely Second. Bravely Default. Super Mario Maker. Fire Emblem Awakening. Code of Princess, Super Mario 3D Land, New Super Mario Land 2, Attack of the Friday Monsters, Pokemon X and Y, Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask 3D, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D, Rhythm Thief and the Emperor's Treasure, Rhythm Heaven Megamix, Hatsune Miku Project Mirai DX, Final Fantasy Theater Rhythm Curtain Call, Mario Kart 7, Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate, Kirby Triple Deluxe, Shin Megami Tensei 4 Apocalypse, Tomodachi Life, Pokemon Alpha Sapphire and Omega Ruby, Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon, Mario and Luigi Paper Jam, Fire Emblem Fates, Star Fox 64 3D, Kid Icarus Uprising, Persona Q, Donkey Kong Country Returns 3D, Etrian Odyssey 4, Professor Layton vs. Phoenix Wright, Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney Spirit of Justice, Shin Megami Tensei Devil Survivor Overclocked, Stella Glow, and any of the Sega Genesis 3D classic games. Wow, that was a long list of games. If I missed any great games in particular, please kill me. Anyways, this video is already going on long enough, so I'm going to go ahead and make my final verdict now. With all of this being said, I think that the 3DS is a great console for kids and adults alike. It may have some small flaws, but I certainly can look past them to see what everyone loves about it. You see, it's hard to compare it to the Vita because they're very different from one another. I believe that the 3DS is a worthy successor to the DS by playing it relatively safe. Action, adventure, racing, RPGs, puzzle, rhythm games, you name it, the 3DS has it, and that's one of its biggest strengths. I'm not saying to go out and buy one today, but if you like what you saw in the video, then maybe the 3DS is the right choice for you. Anyways guys, I'm glad you guys stuck around waiting for me to make this next video. I never expected the kind of support that I'd get from that PS Vita video, so that's why I decided to make this video. It really does mean a lot to me guys. So if you guys have any ideas for another video for me to make, hopefully I'll get to it as soon as I can and I'll see you next time. Also, if you guys want to know any of the songs that I used in this video, all the links to them are in the description below. Happy holidays, guys.